Hollywood is a buzz with gossip and rumour about who is next. James Cook, BBC News, Los Angeles. We're joined now by webcam, right, we're by BuzzFeed's Adam Vary. He spoke to Anthony Rapp and he wrote the story in which the allegations against Kevin Spacey were made. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Why did Adam Rapp speak out now, do you think? Uh, Anthony Rapp. Uh, uh, and, Anthony Rapp, uh, I only, sorry. I only say that because he actually has a brother named Adam. Um, Anthony spoke out because uh, he was very moved by the multitudes of women who were coming forward in the wake of the Harvey Weinstein scandal. And he felt that uh, this was a time that he was really awake to and that he wanted to participate in, that it was a time to listen to victims and really let their stories be heard. And Adam, what did Anthony tell you more about the incident in question? You know, he uh, basically, everything that was in your report actually kind of covers it. Uh, you know, he was invited to this party at Spacey's apartment, and he was the only child there. Uh, but that wasn't unusual to him, because as a child actor, he was very much used to being in the company of uh, adults. It was not an uncommon thing, and he always felt safe in that. So um, when he realized that he was the only person left at this party, again, he just thought, OK, it's time for me to go now. And that's when um, Spacey allegedly made his advance. Adam, what do you make of Kevin Spacey's excuse? I mean, A, the very fact that he doesn't seem able to remember it, but then the sort of excuse that he's put forward as if being a gay man in somehow, some, some way excuses the behaviour. Not to mention the damage that does to, to gay rights and, and, the, and the, what he would probably lobby for as an actor. Right. I, you know, I don't... Uh, I think it's very dangerous to conflate those two things. You know, making a, a sexual advance on a 14-year-old boy has nothing to do with being a gay man. And, uh, and in fact, Spacey's uh, statement makes no mention of uh, Rapp's age. Uh, and this essentially seems to almost be pretending like that part of the story doesn't exist when it's really the key part of the story. It's the reason that this is such a serious allegation. Uh, and that's, I think, why you're seeing anger from so many people in the LGBTQ community uh, with how Spacey has handled uh, this allegation in his response. Okay, Adam Barry, thank you very much for joining us. Christian, it does seem to be, you know, we've seen it again, haven't we? The sort of apology that has a qualifier at the end of it or some kind of caveat as sort of, I'm sorry, but. And uh, for Kevin Spacey, that's causing a lot of kickback at yeah, the moment. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to blame right. the secrecy, isn't he? The fact that he's been secretive about his sex life, that it wasn't for public consumption, and now he's trying yeah, to use this Yeah, but it reminds me of Harvey excuse. Weinstein, who said, you know, I did it because I'm addicted to sex, right? I mean... There's always some excuse, yeah. and in this case, I think Kevin Spacey's being called on it.